Reheat the oven, 350. The first recipe I'm making is the uh, butterscotch white chocolate brownies. What I've got is a pot with just an inch of water in it, and I don't want it to boil. White chocolate needs a gentle heat to melt properly. I'm cutting up a third of a cup of unsalted butter. This is the beginning of the brownies. I'm just melting the butter to about halfway. And I've weighed out six ounces of white chocolate. And white chocolate is technically not chocolate. It's cocoa butter set with milk and sugar and vanilla. So it's sweeter than dark chocolate, but it also melts at a lower temperature, which is why it's a little more sensitive to work with. I'm melting the butter first because the butter melts more slowly than the white chocolate, if you can believe it. So the butter's half melted, so now I can add the white chocolate chips. So it's not just the heat of the bowl and the water underneath, but actually the warm butter now that's melting the chips. Here we go. So I'm actually looking more for the butter being melted because there's still a few lumps in the chocolate now. But now I'm going to let just the carryover heat of the chocolate itself finish melting it and let it cool for a little bit. So I'm just going to set that aside while I work on the brownie base. Being white chocolate brownies, it follows a different technique than typical brownies. These bake up like a brownie in terms of they get that nice, shiny, crispy layer on top. And they're rich and moist, dense and fudgy in the middle. But... You actually have to put volume into it. White chocolate is heavier than dark chocolate when you cook with it, so it can bring down a batter. So I actually have to whip some eggs and sugar together to make it hold up to all that rich white chocolate I'm adding in. So two whole eggs. Now these eggs are at room temperature, which is important because a room temperature egg whips to a higher volume than a cold egg. sugar and a third of a cup of white sugar. So that in a minute. And I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'll whip this until it's about double in volume and lighter in color. Kind of light and fluffy. So that has doubled in volume. I'll get my dry ingredients ready. A cup plus two tablespoons of flour. And half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. I'll just stir that to combine. There we go. I'll add the chocolate and then I'll just beat in the flour. of a cup of toffee bits. When they bake into the brownie, they soften up and they set up not quite as firm, so you've got these little butterscotch droplet within the white chocolate brownies. And I'll pour this into my 9 by 13 pan. I've greased it and lined it with parchment, that way it's easier to pull out and cut into bite-sized fingers. And just push it into the corners. So these take about 35 minutes in the 350 oven, and then I'll pull them out. I'll let them cool, and what I want to do is cut them into fingers and actually dip the ends of them in melted white chocolate. That way, they're more of a dressing treat to pack up and take to the golfers.